Hey YouTubers, I got my first order that I've ever ordered uh, from Precious Metal House, which is a Canadian company, and it uh, came today. There's the box. It's actually a fairly large box here. Zoom out so you can take a look. Uh, I won't zoom out. Anyways, yeah, so this is my first ever order from Precious Metal House. I'll let you know that it took longer than usual. Um, it just took longer than Silver Gold Bull. Um, but uh, we'll see how they compare and how uh, it's packaged up. Their website was quite good and their easy use was quite good. So let's see. It took about a week longer than Silver Gold Bowl. Having said that though, Silver Gold Bowl is in the province, which is right next to mine, which is Alberta. And this came all the way from Ontario, which is a few provinces away. So I'm not surprised that it took longer. Okay, let's see here. Oh, it's really well packaged, if you can see here, we got this uh, styrofoam popcorn in here. Let me just do it. Okay. Okay, so this is well packaged, guys. They have all this popcorn in here so far. So you can tell that your precious metals will be... Look at that, it's going to make a mess. But, what can you do? I'm going to cut it down the middle here. Wait, I don't make a big mess. Make sure you're patient. Okay. Here we go. Put the big knife away. Looks like I cut through my order slip. But we'll pull that out in a second. Um, yeah, so this, I did cut through my order slip there. But you guys all know it's from Precious Metals House. And here is their logo. Precious Metals House, right there. The Canadian Maple Leaf there. So let's start with this big package here. Now, I have a mix of different um, metals in here, and I'll explain in a second as I open them. Okay, I might actually be able to just tear this. Yeah, it's very well wrapped, guys. Luckily, my knife is quite sharp. Okay, here. This order took about two weeks, so not terrible. Okay, so in this first package, here is a bunch of copper bullion. Um, so here's the first one. This is a half pound, and it's got the... Um, what looks like the, the Walking Liberty on it and it is 999 fine copper so it's pure copper and it's nicely sealed in this um, vacuum sealed package so that's the first one and there's so it's half pound there's one second one is I'll move this out of the way for a second there's the first one second one is this Morgan dollar head here no, it's not a dollar, it's the Morgan head. And uh, this again is 999 fine copper. And there's nothing on the back. It's nice it comes sealed because copper taints very easily compared to other precious metals. And here's the third one. It's got the Canadian maple uh, design on it. And again, it's 999 pure copper. And I got two more here. One here is the Buffalo head, 999 pure copper. And the other one here is the Statue of Liberty, um, just the upper part, 999 half pound copper. So there we go, we got a pound and a half of copper here. And um, I'll tell you something, I would not say that these this is a good investment. I absolutely paid way too much for these. These are 569 for each for a half pound. And copper is about $3.70 per pound. So I absolutely overpaid. But of course, when you're getting things stamped in it like this, 
and the way that they're polished and baggied up, it's going to cost a little bit more. So those were five sixty nine each, which is a bit of a bit of a rip off for sure. I'm the first one to admit that. Um, however, I do like copper. I don't see it doing what silver is, but that's just my opinion. And um, I am still keeping my copper pennies because it is going up. Um, but I don't think it's going to have the same jump as silver. Now, let's go and look at my second package in here. Again, this came in the same box from Precious Metal House. This one's just a little add-on of extras. Let's see what I did here. So, it's a little bit of silver, guys. Okay, so the first one is the Canadian Wildlife Series. This is the new antelope. So this is the sixth one in the series. Sorry about the light here, guys. Yeah. I'll show you this one in a different video, too. So the, and this one came in a coin capsule, which is nice because the ones that silver bull, gold bull don't. So and I did not pay extra for this. It did had an add-on for extra, but I did not click it. But however, it came in the capsule, which is really nice. And the antelope coin is, coin is quite nice. So it comes after the moose Canadian Wildlife Series. The next one I got, I don't have one of these, is a Scottsdale silver, um, the one ounce, nine 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 fine silver one ounce bar it says in god we trust and it's got the scottsdale lion on the front and on the back it's got this um pattern that keeps repeating it's like uh like an s or something like that so there's two more ounces of silver i also got this from scottsdale it's gonna be really hard to see but it's a five gram bar i would not recommend buying these this is just more for fun um it's a cool little five gram bar from them it's way overpriced this should only be around four dollars of silver and they charge 9.90 so i would not again recommend but you know some things i do to because i like the collector um the collector's item you know i like to get some numismatic and some unique bars so this is absolutely a unique one but again i would not recommend this if you just want to get as much silver as possible because it is for sure overpriced it's a cool little bar there so here's my order from Precious Metals House. It's not a huge one. Um, and so I've got five and a half pounds of copper, two more ounces of silver, well, two two more ounces and five grams of silver. And um, it was quite good experience ordering from them. So I would recommend them. Um, and uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. And let me know what you think of the copper, especially you silver bugs out there. Is this something you want to do? Is this something you're thinking of doing? Um, I'd appreciate to hear what you guys think. Thanks so much.